So thus far, for margin valuation adjustment, we've been looking at the initial margin that is attracted by the client trades specifically. So an exotic swaption with a client gives rise to a certain amount of initial margin. It's exotic, it's non-cleared, that initial margin is determined by ISDA SIM. But in reality, looking at the bigger picture, we also have hedges. So some of the vega of this position will be hedged out using vanillas. And those vanillas will be trades between the bank and likely another bank, a hedge counterparty. Being swaptions, they are likely not cleared, so they'll attract initial margin, also determined by ISDA SIM. But looking at the full picture, we also have a certain amount of residual delta risk that must be hedged. That delta risk will be hedged using vanillas, and those vanillas are very likely to be centrally cleared. So they'll attract a certain amount of cleared, clearinghouse initial margin. So longer term, when looking at MVA calculations, we're trying to cover the cost of all sources of initial margin associated with this trade. We need to be able to forecast out and model all sources of initial margin for not just the trade, but also its hedges.